Hey everybody, good morning. It is a Wednesday morning, a hump day. Today is September the 2nd. We're at the very beginning of a beautiful month. My name is Reverend Sarah Ritchie and I'm coming at you from my backyard, but I am the minister of First Christian Church in San Bernardino, California. And all day I've been thinking about this scripture. You'll recognize it as soon as you hear me read it. In the beginning was the word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the Word was life, and the life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness doesn't extinguish the light. May God bless the reading and the hearing of the word. So this scripture always has given me hope. You know, think about what word in this scripture means. Now we know that, or we believe that it's referring to Jesus, of course, but in Greek, it's logos. Logos has a lot of meanings. Um, logos... Uh, is a complicated Greek word, but one of the things I want to concentrate on today is that it means uh, idea. And I think it's so cool that we're told that God has an idea and through thinking through it, God creates a reality. And isn't that how it is for us in our creative lives? We have an idea, we name it, we claim it, and then we enact it and we do it. I think that is so cool that we can, in some very small way, imitate God and Christ in this way. I know this is a scripture read at Christmas time, but the other reason it gives me hope is that darkness cannot extinguish the light. We have been living through weirdly dark days, haven't we? And yet we're being assured that in this particular reading that, that darkness will not overcome the light of the world. So I draw from this well of hope, this idea that we can be a part of the creative work of the Lord in the world, and also that darkness cannot overcome the light. One of those words that I think we can imagine together is um, peace. Peace. We imagine it, we name it, we claim it, and then we work to make it happen. For some of you, this will mean um, voting in the next election. However, you are called to vote. For others, it means going out and exercising your First Amendment rights by protesting. For others, it means reminding the world that black lives actually do matter. All of these ideas are things that people initially imagined and then put their energy into. And now, who knows what will happen in the end of the day, right? Some of you have other ideas about what we should do with that creative energy, and that's okay too. But I would say to you that everything we do begins with a thought. With a thought. So, I invite you all to revel in the Word, because in the beginning was the Word. And remember that no matter how dark things get in the world... I'm telling you, I'm telling you today and assuring you that it cannot overcome the light. So, hey, God be with you all. Take care. Be blessed. Be well. Wash your hands. Wear your masks. Stay physically distanced. And know that you are loved. You are loved. See you later. Bye-bye.